guys welcome back to another android tips how to videos in today's video we are going to see how you can root and oem unlock your oneplus 3 device now coming to the most important point now in case of oneplus 3 when you try to root oneplus 3 is not going to void your warranty so let's take a look on the image here what does that exactly mean so this means guys your device will be completely under warranty your oneplus 3 is warranty is not going to void it A couple of things that we need here number one of course the device itself and second thing we need a usb compatible type c cable that you think that you're gonna need is a compatible pc and with that you also be needing some of the files here i will put the link in the show notes there are total four files these are the four files that we need the first file is android sdk slim it is a portable android tools that can run the needed commands to unlock and root your device the second file is super SU. super SU is a super user access management tool of the future super user requires rooted device super user allows for the advanced management for the super user access rights for all the apps on your device that need root access third file is oneplus usb drivers it is a basic driver that is needed to make the usb connection working for your oneplus device and your compatible pc that you are connected to the last file is recovery.img it is a custom recovery used for installing custom software and devices this custom software can include small modifications like rooting a device or even replacing the firmware of the devices with a completely custom ROM like OmniRom. So these, these files are especially designed for each phone. So right now the files we have here right now, it is designed for the OnePlus 3 exclusive. So among all this folder, you need to extract all the folders here. But especially if you just extract Android SDK Slim, that will be fine here. And you need to extract OnePlus USB drivers too. Then go inside the OnePlus USB drivers and install the click the setup files and install them as a root root access or uh, or you can say install them as an administrator right so let's first install the file and we'll continue we have already configured our computer that we may needing now inside the phone just go to the setting here and inside the about phone go ahead and click seven times the build number then you will be enabling the developer option since i already have enabled so i'm not getting this option so you can see developer option is already enabled so number one fact here you need to do down here select this oem unlocking click enable click on the advanced reboot and then turn on the usb debugging so now come back here so now we will reboot our device so make sure to your cable is unconnected click on power button click on reboot here you will see an option called boot loader click ok so once it is on the restarting process then connect your phone with the cable once you will see a boot window connect your phone with the cable with the cable here now open the command prompt that you use to install our setups here here you have to type a command first you need to check whether all the devices connected or not just type fast boot devices it will make sure like your device is connected so it shows here a device is connected now you have to type command here fast boot oem unlock So you got a message here okay you can see here guys uh, you also got a new message here and it shows you here uh, this unlock bootloader so you need to use a uh, power key to select and volume dropper key to select uh, up and down so i just uh, did here select here and just click on power button it will show a yes message here it will wipe your all data as you can see here it's giving you a message here wiping please wait may uh, loop a couple of times here do, do not bother about that one our device has booted up guys and the complete device is wiped out that means all of your data everything stuff has been gone out let me just uh, begin and control the setup so already you can see the device has been detected here let me just uh, finish the setup here our device has been set it up so now there's important things you need to do here again uh, just click on the usb charging here make sure you connect your cable to your pc you need to select file transfer here so and uh, after that you need to you can see here there is an internal storage window getting copied here back side of my screen you can see here so and let it enable that and we have to just copy the beta super to our device here let's go here and do some stuff here again go to the setting here and go to the about phone and tap, tap the build number again seven times so that we enable the developer option here so as, as you can see uh, we have enabled the developer option go inside developer option here select advanced reboot and make sure the OEM unlocking is checked in go back in now moving back again to our PC stuff so now guys we have to copy this uh, beta super SEO GIF file to our 
in phones device internal memory as you can see guys this is uh, one plus three a three o three internal storage i need to copy my file here so the file has been copied now there is one important step that we need to before we do anything else here so there is a fourth file called recovery.img so just copy that file here and paste inside this android sdk slim which will be extracted here so this is very important step guys here and that we need to do here now let's see uh, about the status of the device here guys we have already enabled the developer option and everything else just make sure we had check again so inside the about phone uh, just uh, go back and see here the developer option is enabled and make sure this OEM unlock advanced reboot has been done then uh, you need to just uh, click the power button again and go to the reboot select this bootloader now you can remove your cable from here once we see this uh, bootloader window again just click the cable again we need to run some uh, one more further command here now let's move to the pc again now back to the pc again guys here as you can see uh, we just need to we have connected our device here again i'm just going to type here again we need to just verify the devices connected here just type fastboot devices you can see devices connected now you need to type one command here called fastboot flash recovery recovery.img and do you remember guys why i copied this recovery.img here you can see here we are inside the same platform tools that is why i copied this recovery.img here you can leave it to anywhere else you need, just need to navigate there but you don't need to navigate that's why i copied here just type in hinter here flash boot flash recovery uh, recovery.img hit enter sorry over the command it is uh, fast boot so now it is uh, done here now let's move back to our phone again so guys finally we have finished the pc part now we just need to connect the cable again and we will see in the start in this uh, bootloader so just use your uh, power volume keys and navigate to this third option recovery mode and hit the yes button that is a power key you will see sound like it is disconnected again you can just now remove the device from here and this thing is obvious uh, it may come one more than one or two time you'll get option here so and uh, keep it only just swipe to allow modification you need to click on this swipe to allow modification right like this now we need to select the stall here click on the stall and this is the internal storage and we have copied this file here now you'll get this option you need to again swipe to confirm flash it will take some time to done now you have to click on wipe cache dalbink select swipe to wipe then click on reboot system you can see guys our system is starting up so that means uh, our device is rooted up all we need just to verify that we just go to play store we'll just download an app called uh, root checker we'll just open the root checker app here verify root so you can see you guys congratulations root access is properly stored on your device and this is android version and this is the model number 8303 that means this is one plus six so there you go guys a complete tutorial it's very simple steps and it won't void your one plus c warranty find this video helpful and if you did uh, do hit the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to watch more this is all behind the scene thank you very much for watching i'll talk to you very soon